Court paperwork filed in Maine shows a slew of evidence against Greg Owens, but it also details how he responded when he was told that his wife was shot. First, he feigns a heart attack. He does express relief that she is still alive, but doesn't ask what happened or ask to see his wife for several hours. Nearly a month after police converged on this home in Londonderry, the man who lives here has been arrested, charged in connection with his wife's shooting. Gregory Owens was arrested Sunday. Authorities in Maine believe he broke into a home in Saco in the early morning hours of December 18th and shot Rachel Owens four times as she slept. Her friend, Stephen Shabbat, was also shot, but both survived. Court paperwork says police believe Greg Owens intended to kill his wife. The paperwork says Maine investigators found footprints in a flower bed outside the Maine home that matched boots found in Mr. Owens' car. Clothes found in the Londonderry home fit the description of those worn by the intruder. And 9 millimeter ammunition found in a mug on a desk matched the shell casings found in Maine. At the time of the shooting, Rachel, who was only 55, had been exhibiting symptoms of dementia, and her husband had began calling upon friends to relieve him of his care for Rachel. That's why she was in Maine in mid-December. The paperwork goes on to say investigators determined that Mr. Owens, who had been married to Rachel for 35 years, was having an affair, and two weeks before the shooting, his girlfriend had threatened to expose and end her relationship with Owens. Owens claimed to be working on a computer project from home the night his wife was shot. But in analyzing that computer, authorities found that someone searched Google to determine how to change the clock on a computer for purposes of hiding the actual time of its use. Investigators determined that Owens' computer clock had been changed by at least three hours. Now, the paperwork also says that Owens can be seen on surveillance video shortly after midnight at a Circle K in Hudson, and then again at 4.50 a.m. at a Dunkin' Donuts in Londonderry. Investigators mapped that and determined that it is possible Owens made it to Maine and back in that time frame. Reporting live, Heather Hamilton, WMUR News 9.